say restaurants make most of their money on alcohol, but how do you capitalize on that? We're here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, a cava tapas and wine bar where they have not only one, but two wine bars. John Acker and Greg Sessler, welcome to the Language of Business. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you. Do you get double the profits because you have two wine bars? <laughs> I wish, <laughs> but no. When we first opened the restaurant, we had a, a similar view uh, that the restaurant industry and clientele had gone to a scene where people really liked sitting at a bar, even if you were going to a very nice restaurant. Not generally speaking, uh, you'd always want to sit at a table. Uh, there's a lot of businessmen that are always constantly traveling. Very uh, regularly, they are by themselves. Um, so having the option of the bar seating uh, allows people in that kind of predicament to come in and still feel comfortable to have a nice dinner, um, but while sitting at a bar and not like alone at a table, if you will. How do you make money opening in 2008, the height of a recession? You know, 2008 was, was a tough time to start. Um, we've kind of gone into it with, uh, you know, um, the idea that we didn't know any better, and, and that was what we had expected. So each year it's kind of, you know, it's gotten a little easier since then as, as things have improved. Um, it's been a wonderful experience for the past seven years. So, um, you know. John, how did you get started in 2008 from a financial perspective? Well, Greg and I uh, both went to high school together. We were uh, best friends in high school. Uh, so he, uh, I grew up in his family, he grew up in mine. Uh, my father is a financial consultant, estate planner um, in the area. Um, and he had seen Greg and I work through the business, um, had a lot of confidence in both of what we brought to the table. Benounced, or I guess not popular with a lot of his financial friends, said that he would uh, finance the project uh, in, in the beginning. Um, which so in, in shorter phrases, they thought he was nuts. Pretty much, yeah. But at the same time, we had confidence in ourselves with what we were doing. Uh, I don't think we would have done it otherwise. And in that, um, it was literally only a little over three years later that we were actually able to um, pay him back. Is he still a partner in the business? No. Um, and, and that was one reason why it actually worked out. My father knows nothing about the restaurant business. He technically doesn't like going to restaurants because he believes he cooks the best food in the world at his house. Um, but he, you know, he did this by saying, listen, you guys do what you want to do. Um, I really will have no impact on what you're going to do. He was about as silent as a silent partner could be. Um, but once he did receive his money back, uh, there is no other tie to the restaurant with him. Are you both 50-50 partners? We are, yes. Are you also 50-50 partners in profits and in losses? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. yep. Have you had any down years since 2011 when you repaid the original investment? No. 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 The, we've been very fortunate that our numbers have grown every single year that we've been open. Um, now, this being our seventh year, uh, knock on wood, uh, it would be the same. Uh, but I think that you've seen more, you know, we're a very small restaurant. Um, so on Fridays and Saturdays, we hit capacity very fairly easily. What we have seen in uh, larger numbers is the middle of the week clientele, which in 2008, you know, most people, when the economy was bad, they were coming out on Friday and Saturday night. That was their night to go out. Right. Um, you're seeing more now people coming out on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday nights, um, which is growing those nor numbers exponentially uh, through the years. Also for us too, I mean, one thing about that is we've been trying to put back into the restaurant, you know, whether it be maintenance or decor or uh, the staff, we're, we're constantly trying to continually invest back into that, um, that platform, I guess. If you could do it all over again, would you? Yes. Yes, yeah. Restaurants are, yeah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it certainly is one of those things you have to be passionate about. I mean, there's definitely easier ways to probably make money out there, but, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it, is, it is a fun way, I think. I think John and I both have passion for it and enjoy working together and... and yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Greg Sessler, John Ecker, co-owners of Kava Tapas and Wine Bar here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Thank you for being on The Language of Business. Cheers. Thank you.